In this particular tutorial, I'll talk about one of the interview question in Oracle Rack, how to disable the scan. Now, what is scan? Scan is a new concept. It's a virtual IP and using scan, we can do the load balancing. And the next question I would ask is like, you know, is it mandatory to use scan? No, it is not mandatory to use scan. We can still use the physical IPs or the virtual IP. We can continue to use them and we can. So if we don't want the load balancing feature, we can use even using the virtual IP, we can do the load balancing. So it is not mandatory to use scan. And in your environment, if you don't want to use scan, you can very well disable it. So let me show you my cluster. So if I do CRS CTL stat res minus T, you can see I got this scan IPs. They are online. So I got three. And if I show you my cat etc host file, you can see that my scan IPs is 141, 142, and 143. So if I do IF config grep inet, you can find that this 143 and 142, this one, the scan IP is up on my node 2. And if I go to node 1, then you can see if I run the same command, you can see 141. So out of 141 is up on node 1 and 142 and 143 is up on node 2. So using scan, we can using any of these three IPs, we can definitely connect to our database as I can show you here. So let me try to connect to my database. And let's say this is a scan IP and I'm giving the service name, which is Aura. 19c1 this is the service name and i'm trying to connect as sys uh use as a sys dba let me save my password and let me try to connect and this time i'm connecting to aura aura 19c1 and if i do test you can see that my connection is success i i don't want to connect it uh, i can connect it but that's okay the point is proved and then what I'll do is like I will disable the scan and you can see that even after disabling the scan we can connect to the database but when we try to connect to the database we don't we will be using either the physical IPs the public IP or the virtual IP so uh, let's keep a note of this so this is on note 2 keep a note of this in a notepad so I'm going to keep a note of this and I'll also keep a note of this okay so I'll keep a note and here my 141 is scan ip and 142 and 143 is scan ip so let me try to disable the scan srv ctl stop scan this command will fail because it will say the scan listener is actually dependent on it so what we need to do is we actually need to first disable the scan listener so i'm going to stop the scan listener first Okay, so the command failed, this command failed. So to resolve this issue, I'm going to stop the scan listener first. So once the scan listener is stopped, then I can run this particular command. Okay, so that's done. And now if I do this particular command, if I do this particular command, you should see that my scan IPs are gone. 140, the IP with 140 that is gone. And here also you can see that the IP 141 that is gone. So now if I take this here and if I put it here, then you can see that I don't have this 141. And if I do this on node 2, then you can see that I don't have this 142 and 143. So the commands that I used to disable the scan was stop scan listener and stop scan. Now the problem is when you restart your cluster, it's going to again start the scan ips so so it's it's we 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 still have those resources so if i do if i go here and see crs ctl uh, stat res t i have the scan resources and i have the scan listener resources so what we will do if when we restart the cluster it's going to restart them back again so what we will do is like we will remove those Okay, we are going to remove them from our cluster. So let me remove the scan listener first and then let me remove the scan. And then if I run my CRSCTL command, you can see that I don't have the scan 
and I don't have the scan listener at all. So my scan listener is gone and my scan whips scan virtual IP are also gone. Now I am going to try. So now if I try to test the connection, you can see that my 142, my 142, I'm not able to connect. Okay, because that was my scan IP. So now how do I connect? I can connect to my database using the public IP, which is 101. So if you see success, I can connect or I can use the virtual IP, which is VIP. Okay, and 111 and you can see I'm able to connect. So it is not mandatory to have the scan. You can disable the scan if you don't want it. The steps to disable the scan is you stop the scan listener, you stop the scan, then you remove the scan listener and you remove the scan. Now, if you if you ever want to add it back, then what we can do is like we can add it back using add scan, scan name and add scan listener, listener name. And now here, what we are going to do is this is this is defined in my either in your DNS or GNS or it is defined in your um, etc host. I'm using using the etc host. So let me do one thing. So you can see that I was using the scan IP of 141. 142 and 143 so this were my scan IPs I will change it to 161 162 and 163 I'll change this scan IPs to something else so how do I do that so let me show it to you how to do that so let me go here modify my etc host file so switch to root so g edit etc host and you can see that my scan is 141 142 143 so let me change it to 161 162 and 163 now when i enable the scan back again when i enable the scan back again you should see that i will not have 141 142 and 143 i will have the new scan ip so this is another way using which you can actually this re change your scan IPs. That is another command for this. You can use srbctl modify scan. You can use that command to modify the scan IPs. Once the changes at the D DNS or your source system is done, you can use srbctl modify scan. But you can also disable the scan and enable it back. So you can use this particular method as well. So I've done the changes on node one. So now I'm doing the changes on node two as well. Okay, I'm ch changing the IP in etc host from 141, 142 and 143 to 161, 162 and 163. So I'm doing that. Once I'm done, I'm going to save this file. So now I'm going to add the scan back again using these two commands. So first I'm going to add the scan and from where I got this, this is defined in my cat etc host file. So let me clear the screen cat etc host grab if i do this you can see that i have defined now 161 162 163 and same on my node 2 as well so if i do this you can see 161 162 163 and i'm going to use these two commands to add the scan back so i'm doing this and then i'm adding the scan listener and then when I do IF config grab INET, you should see that I don't I no longer have 141 or 142, 143. I have 161, 162, and 163. So if I do this, you can see okay. The reason why it has not is because I have not started the I have not started the scan IPs. I just create added them. So SRV CTL start scan. I'm starting the scan and I also need to start the scan listener. And then when I run this command, you can see now I have 162. I no longer have this 142 or 143. I have this 162. And if I go on the other node, 
then I have 161 and 163. And now if I try to use this IPs to connect to my database, I should be able to connect. So let me take this and if I show you test, it got successful. So this was the tutorial. We What we did, we first stop the scan, scan listener and stop the scan. Then we remove the scan and remove scan listener and remove the scan. Then if we wanted to add it back, we added it back. But when we added it back, we changed the scan IPs from 141, 142 to 143 to 161, 162 and 163. So I hope this tutorial was useful. I hope you can answer this interview question after seeing this video. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Bye bye.